Ladies and gentlemen, good day and welcome to the Cupid Limited Q1 FY24 earnings conference call hosted by Kiran Advisors Private Limited. As a reminder, all participant lines will be in the listen only mode and there will be an opportunity for you to ask questions after the presentation concludes. Should you need assistance during the conference call, please signal an operator by pressing star then 0 on your touchstone phone. Please note that this conference is being recorded. I now hand the conference over to Mr. Yash Savla from Kirin Advisors Private Limited. Thank you and over to you. Yes, uh, thank you. On behalf of Kirin Advisors, I welcome you all to Cupid Limited Quarter 1 FY20 call. From the management side, we have Mr. Rom Prakash Gar, Managing Director and Chairman. Over to you, sir. Uh, thank you, Yash. Uh, good afternoon, uh, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of uh, Cupid Limited, I would like to welcome you all at the first quarter FY24 earnings uh, conference call today. By now, I suppose that uh, you have had a chance to review the press release and the financial data we had circulated couple of days ago. So without any further delay, I would like to open the conference for uh, question and answer period, please. Thank you very much. We will now begin the question and answer session. Participants present on the audio bridge who wish to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. If you wish to remove yourself from the question queue, you may press star and two. Ladies and gentlemen, we will wait for a moment while the question queue assembles. The first question is from Mr. Gaurav, an investor. Please go ahead. Uh, good afternoon, everyone. Sir, my first question is regarding, uh, sir, during the quarter ending June 23, the other expenses has increased due to payment of 4.4 .4 crore as damage to meet the contractual terms. So what is this item and is it a recurring kind of item or one-time uh, damage cost is there? Please explain. And my, sir, sir, my second question is, in a prior 23, the order book of company was 177 crore and now it is 104 crore. And in the quarter, the sale is uh, regarding uh, 33 crore, which means 40 crores might be cancelled. One of the order of 14 crore of UNFP I have seen, uh, which is cancelled. Uh, what about the rest 26 crore? Please explain, sir. Abhi, right now, uh, I have two questions, and I will ask again uh, in follow-up. Okay. Uh, thank you uh, very much. Uh, first of all, uh, the 4.4 uh, CR uh, charge is a one-time uh, 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 payment uh, because of the uh, contractual obligations on behalf of Cupid. So it's not likely to be repeated. Now about the second part of your question on the uh, order book, yes, out of that uh, 177, uh, we had dispatched 33, and also uh, 14 CR order was canceled. So the rest of the order, uh, uh, is being held back by the South African government. So uh, since they have not reconfirmed that order, uh, we are uh, not listing that in our order book. So uh, this is how we are achieving a, a, a achieving 104 uh, CR order, up-to-date order as of July 31st. Okay, okay. Sir, regarding the 4.4 .4 crores damage, sir, uh, can you explain the kind of damage is occurring, uh, like uh, is a kind of inventory losses or uh, uh, fluid material kind of, which kind of losses is this? Actually, contextual terms means I can't understand. Uh, can you elaborate this? Okay. The uh, reason for this 4.4 uh, uh, CR uh, charge is that uh, we had uh, manufactured uh, water-based lubricant jelly for uh, uh, U 
an FPA and at the time of manufacturing, we had checked the quality and it was uh, found to be okay. However, uh, during uh, transportation and storage of this material in uh, overseas uh, uh, storage areas, which may take many months, the samples deteriorated. And uh, this uh, charge is due to uh, the replacement cost of those uh, damaged uh, uh, batches. Okay, okay. Sir, in this regard, uh, I think companies should take care of this so that these damages could not occur again. And, uh, sir, regarding uh, the order of terms, I can uh, uh, I ask one question. Like, sir, India is a very good, uh, very huge population is there. But our company has, uh, has a domestic sale is very less. Like, B2C sale is not at much that level, and in domestic only 5% sale is there. Is management planning to utilize Indian population advantage like thing, like uh, to increase the company distribution network in India itself, or some kind of things to increase order book? Yeah, we we have uh, uh, considered uh, the possibility of Cupid increasing its uh, domestic sales. Uh, however, uh, the margin, net margin on these sales is quite a bit uh, lower uh, than what we receive it in export uh, uh, profits, especially because the government of India provides an incentive for exports. Okay. So the other consideration is that in order to promote the brand uh, locally within India, we have to spend several uh, crores worth of advertising and uh, promotion uh, uh, rupees. Uh, and we have uh, concluded that it is better for Cupid in the short and the long term to concentrate on the uh, export markets where uh, demand for condoms is very strong and it is growing so while the demand is growing, uh, the number of uh, suppliers are uh, still restricted. So we believe that going forward, over the next five to ten years at least, the uh, scope for profits is much higher uh, in the export markets than in the domestic. Okay. Sir, uh, regarding uh, the uh, different segments of our company, like in the IVD segment, we was expecting to get various licenses, like like ISO, CE, WHO, CMP. Has company obtained all those licenses? What is the status uh, in the regard this? And is IVD completely commercially operational now? As IVD sale is very less, and the company is also showing losses in it. I, I have seen in last uh, financial records. I think this segment has a very huge scope. And what company expect in future over this and any major capex in this segment in coming two, three years? Yeah. The uh, uh, scope for uh, IBD sales is, is uh, quite uh, uh, good, very uh, promising. Uh, the main problem is that in order to cater uh, to the high volume uh, tender and the other markets, uh, a manufacturer has to have uh, three things. Number one, uh, they should have a three-year manufacturing license from their respective government. And number two, a WHO certification. And number three, a, a, a CE certification, which is required uh, for the European sales. Now, Cupid would complete uh, three years of man, uh, uh, manufacturing experience in uh, September uh, 2024. And uh, while we have applied for the WHO and uh, CE certificates, it's expected to take about one more year. So after that, Cupid will be fully qualified to participate in all the uh, uh, domestic as well as international tenders. Okay, okay. So okay. we have to wait for one more one more year in this segment. Sir, uh, one more question. Sir, as on FY23, 
out of 70 crore invest investment, uh, company has major investment in the form of corporate FD. So, which which kind of corporate FD it is? It is safe enough, and company has total 100 crore rupees in cash and investment part. Is company management any uh, capex or biomet dividend etc. in the coming two three years? Yes, we we have considered uh, 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 reviewing our uh, dividend amounts, and as you may have noticed. Uh, last year, uh, we increased our dividend payout from uh, uh, four to four and a half rupees up to uh, five rupees per share last year, and uh, we are constantly reviewing uh, the situation in terms of further increases in the dividend amounts. In in, uh, in case of capex, any capex in coming two three years, in the big capex. Uh, as of now, we uh, don't see any uh, big expense, except we may uh, uh, make a deal to buy a, post, a part of a land uh, located next to our factory for future expansion of the uh, operations. Okay, okay. sir. Uh, what, is, what about the corporate FD, sir? In which uh, corporate it is... Uh... Uh, implemented is it safe? Like uh, I, uh, I don't have exposure of corporate FD, so I was asking this question. Uh, can you explain this? Because the major amount of company investment is in the corporate FD. I think it is current investment part. Uh, I think it should no, not be a vari variable part. But still, can you explain uh, what kind of corporate FD it is? Uh, I'm sorry. Could you please uh, repeat your question, uh, sir? Uh, in the investment part, the company has major amount in the form of corporate FD. So uh, my my question is is, is it, it is not the bank FD it is something else. So in which corporate it is uh, invested? Uh, can you explain corporate FD? Hmm? We have uh, 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 considered that, uh, but uh, we have not taken a, a final decision, and uh, for now. We are continuing our investments into uh, mutual funds as well as into uh, FDs. Okay, okay. Which kind of FD can you explain? Uh, corporate FD, which kind of corporate FD? Because you have mentioned mutual funds, SBFC, Kodak, but uh, corporate FD is not mentioned, I think. So, no, these are the uh, uh, bank FDs floated okay. by uh, HDFC, uh, by uh, Kotak Bank, by uh, Punjab National Bank and so on. Okay, this is a bank FD. Bank FD. Okay. Uh, Sir, yes. one major one major case of the company is pending in income tax for e e period 2021, amounting to rupees no 9.79 crores. Is there any progress and where it is pending right now? Appeal or tribunal? Where it is? What is status of that? Uh, say say that again. Plans for. Uh, sir, there is a one litigation case of company regarding income tax, amounting to rupees 9.79 crores, as on uh, FY 23, uh, 2022, 2022 I have seen this. So, is there any progress in this case? Yes, I am. I am glad to report that that case has been settled amicably with the income tax department, and there is no more outstanding liabilities on Cupid uh, due to income tax. Okay, so company has paid any amount in this in this case? No, they, this was a, a, a penalty which they they were asking us to pay, and on our petition they have waived that penalty, so no money was exchanged. Okay, okay, okay. Sir, one more question regarding expected credit loss. Sir, as on FY 2022, the company has six crore rupees in the expected credit loss segment. Is it, uh, sir, the, uh, the customers related to which this amount belongs? Are we dealing with those customers uh, right now? And uh, is it one-time uh, loss or a recurring kind of loss? Can you explain? Uh, expected credit loss. No. Please say that again. Sir, as on uh, annual report, uh, FY 2022, there is uh, the major expected, expected credit loss is shown as 6 crore rupees. Mm -hmm. So, uh, the, the customers from which this uh, amount belongs, are we still uh, uh, dealing with them? One question. And second, uh, 
is this one uh, one time uh, loss or we are occurring again and again such kind of losses yeah no uh, we had one um, write off uh, from a, a customer who was with us for last 15 years in south africa and uh, due to ill health uh, he closed down his his business so that was the only major uh, setback for us in our receivables hello Ladies and gentlemen, a reminder: participants present in the audio bridge who wish to ask a question may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. Our next participant, Pranay Gandhi from Green Portfolio, please go ahead. Hi, good evening, sir. Um, so, I just wanted to uh, understand that there was a 20% decline in our revenue in the recent quarter uh, compared to the previous quarter. Is there any specific reason for that? I'm sorry. Could you please uh, repeat your question and uh, speak a little louder? Yeah, sorry about that. I just wanted to highlight that there was a 20% decline in revenue during the recent quarter uh, compared to the previous quarter. Is there any specific reason for that? Yeah, the main reason for the reduced profit in the first quarter, as compared to a year ago. Uh, is that we had uh, practically no sales of high margin uh, female condoms so that was the major reason the other uh, reason was uh, like the caller earlier had asked there is a one time charge of about 4.4 cr uh, which uh, of course uh, uh, is uh, will not uh, appear again so because of those two reasons our profit has come down from uh, 4.6 cr in the quarter uh, a year ago down to about 2.16 uh, crore okay. and sir any specific reason why this why there has been no sales for uh, the female condom yes the uh, the main reason is that because of the uh, geopolitical situation and the budget allocation uh, by the south african government uh, they have cut back on their uh, purchases and uh, they were supposed to uh, reissue uh, their purchase orders uh, back in march uh, 2023 and uh, they have been postponing that uh, and as of uh, today even we have not uh, received those orders Uh, however we are expecting those to come to be declared in uh, next 2 to 3 weeks so that is the main reason why the profits are down now this has happened for the first time in 10 years that south africa has not ordered any female condoms uh, in a quarter so it's a very unusual uh, one time situation and uh, looking at the balance of uh, fy24 we are expecting a robust business uh, for female condoms uh, to the tune of about uh, 32 cr uh, sales we are projecting in the current financial year okay and apart from this 32 crore coming from uh, female condoms what should we anticipate for the whole of business in general the the profit margin in female condoms is about 50% so we are uh, anticipating anticipating uh, a, a, a good good amount of profit in the okay. total profit uh, uh, or the total uh, fc sales is expected to be uh, about uh, 16 to 18 cr Okay, so I, so my question was uh, in terms of revenue, the turnover for the business, apart from the 32 crores, since uh, we are actually lagging behind on the IBD division itself, uh, what should be our overall turnover for the business for FY24? Okay, the uh, uh, total turnover we are expecting is uh, about 155 CR uh, top line. 
and uh, 32 to 34 CR uh, uh, income after tax uh, in March uh, 2024. Okay. Perfect. Thank you so much, sir. And, sir, in terms of other expenses, they have nearly doubled compared to previous quarter. I understand that there was a 4.4 crore uh, damages that we paid. Uh, but even then, our other expenses increased from 7.75 crore to 15.16 uh, crore. What were the other contributing factors? Okay, the two main causes was, uh, number one, that the uh, uh, sales commission on the uh, male condom sales to Tanzania uh, during the quarter was uh, just over 2 CR on a sale of uh, 20 crores. Uh, this was the highest sale in any uh, one quarter for any one customer. So uh, that is the reason that because of this uh, high sales commission, this extra expense is uh, uh, being booked on the books. And the other reason is uh, that uh, company had uh, uh, negotiated a long service award, uh, meaning any employees who uh, have or will have completed uh, 25 years of service, they will be eligible uh, for a uh, uh, payment of uh, four and a half uh, lakh rupees. So uh, with that, the number of people we have, about 25, it will be just over one CR, which is again a special situation and one-time charge. And besides that, we had issued an ease of plan for the employees and also a small increase in the labor cost, uh, each costing about 50 lakhs for a total of uh, one CR. So uh, to summarize, a two CR cost is related to uh, employees, uh, including the, uh, uh, the, uh, the long service award uh, provision. It is a provision in the books. Payments have not yet been made, and they will be made as uh, people uh, retire after 25 years of service. So this is how this additional about 8 CR expense is the difference between 15 CR uh, this quarter and about uh, seven and a half quarters uh, CR uh, a year ago quarter. Okay. And sir, I wanted to understand if uh, you see any impact on future orders from UNFPA uh, regarding the water-based lubricant jelly? Okay. The status is that right now uh, UNFPA is examining all the uh, data uh, uh, they have collected from different countries, and uh, uh, they are evaluating what type of uh, damages uh, they have suffered and we have sent several samples uh, to different labs uh, including uh, a well-known lab in uh, UK and uh, the UNSC people have uh, scheduled a visit to Cupid uh, in September uh, this year, next month and uh, after that inspection we hope, hope to get uh, these uh, lubricant uh, shipments uh, going again later in the year, hopefully in October, November. Okay. And so since you mentioned about uh, buying a part of land next to our current factory, uh, could you help me with the value of the investment that would be made? It is, it is about 12 CR. That's, yeah. That's perfect. And so one final question. Uh, do you have any update on the current status of discussion with the companies based in Singapore and the U.S.? Singapore project. Singapore project. Oh, Singapore project is uh, moving uh, uh, rather slowly. Uh, the party is uh, still interested, uh, but they have not quite uh, finalized their uh, production plans. 
they are still uh, giving a finishing touches to their R&D before they release the order for uh, in-house manufacturing. Okay. And so just one last question regarding the IBD division. Earlier, our target revenue for the current financial year was 2.5 CR. Since we have only done 15 lakhs, and it would take us some time to get WHO certification and CE certification, uh, what are the targets for this year from IBD division? Uh, do you think we need to revise it, or we would be able to reach 2.5 CR? Uh, yes, we uh, expect the sale in the current uh, second quarter to be about 60 lakhs uh, from IVD sales and also in the third and fourth quarter as well, uh, just over 60 lakhs each. So for the entire FY24, we are expecting a minimum IVD sales of about 2 CR. And uh, these uh, sales will be to the distributors uh, directly uh, in India. Uh, uh, and uh, I mentioned the major restrictions for larger volume of sales uh, due to uh, lack of a three-year manufacturing uh, period and also lack of WHO and CE mark. So to answer your question, it will be just over uh, two CR this financial year in IVD sales. And what kind of margins can we expect? About 20% right now. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Our next participant is Yashwanti Khedkar, an investor. Please go ahead. Yeah, good evening, sir. So, did you mention that a single column sale has been impacted because of the low demand from South Africa? So are you approaching a new region uh, where we can see some good uh, ramp-up happening for this uh, female condom? Uh, please uh, ask that again. Yeah. You said that in South Africa, the sale of the female condom has been uh, dampened. So are we looking at a different region uh, to ramp-up sale for the female condom? Yes, yes. Yes, we are. Uh, well, first of all, like I mentioned earlier, uh, South African sales are likely to resume later this month in August and continue till next March. But in addition, we are also expecting a, uh, a new uh, tender uh, from uh, Brazil to supply uh, female condoms. Uh, we don't have the numbers yet, but it could be as high as uh, 25 to 30 CR for Cupid. Okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, sir, in last con call you mentioned that we have the reach of 90, uh, 90 countries. In this quarter, you mentioned that you have a reach of 104 and countries. So, which new countries have been added to our portfolio? Sorry. Hmm? Shall I repeat my question? Uh, yeah, please do. Sir, uh, in the last phone call, you mentioned that we have reached around 90 countries in the international market. This quarter, you mentioned the number to the 105 countries. So, which few countries have been added to our portfolio? Oh, which new countries? Uh, mostly, uh, we have added a couple of... Uh, uh, countries in uh, uh, Europe, and also uh, we have added uh, uh, two or three countries in uh, in uh, Africa. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we we are now in a total of 105 countries uh, throughout the world, including uh, between 35 to 40 countries on the African uh, continent. Okay. Okay. And... Yeah. And uh, uh, can you just throw some light on your IVD business when it will start contributing uh, in a great extent to our revenue? 
well like i mentioned uh, in the earlier call uh, we need to uh, get who and uh, c certificates uh, to be able to participate in large international tenders and also we need to complete a three year period uh, in terms of manufacturing experience which we would do uh, next august september 2024 so right now we are catering to uh, a small size orders for a, from about 80 uh, customers within india and uh, we have built up this uh, customer base uh, all the way from uh, kerala uh, to assam and uh, all the way up north so it is going slowly because of the uh, qualifications which are needed uh, to be eligible to participate in the large tender orders so in spite of the slow going in the long term uh, we are optimistic that ivd business would pick up and uh, we could be looking at uh, easily 50 to 100 cr uh, turnover in 2 to 3 years time Okay, sir. So, sir, I mean, if you can just provide a regional breakup, like how much is America contributing, how much is South Africa contributing, and how is the things happening? Which are the major countries contributing to our sales? Yeah, in our uh, sales data, we report the uh, sales uh, by country. So, uh, we'll be glad to provide more details on any specific country uh, for any uh, particular period. so please uh, let us know so you you mentioned that that you had seen a good demand for the main quantum in american america uh, america so how was the demand over there how much of sales there has come from the america uh, from america you mean uh, us yes yeah in in us we are qualified to supply uh, uh, male condoms only uh, so far and uh, the margins there are uh, quite low as compared to our other uh, markets okay and the, the we have applied we are in the process of applying uh, uh, for female condom uh, like mm-hmm. in in us uh, which is uh, uh, which may take up to one more year okay Okay, and sir, what is the margin difference between the male condom and the female condom? Oh, male condom is eighteen to twenty percent, and the female condom is close to uh, between forty-five to fifty percent. Very high margin product, this female condom. Okay, okay, sir. That's it for my side. Thank you for all the news. Thank you. Our next participant is Anand Gupta, an individual investor. Please go ahead. Good evening, sir. Uh, if you can share updates on the promoter stake sale and also on the uh, supplementary study that was recommended to Cupid by USFT. Okay. Uh, on the first question, uh, there is no uh, real update on the stake sale. It is still under discussion, and. Uh, uh about the second question uh we uh, the the us fda has requested cupid to do a supplementary uh, clinical study uh, based in south african uh, population with uh, 60% blacks uh, 25% uh, uh, mixed and uh, 15% uh, indian so uh, Uh, that is an additional requirement uh, we hope to get some results in one year's time and once we do qualify to participate in us business the uh, potential there is huge in the initial year we expect to uh, do a sale of about 1 million uh, us dollars or 8 crores uh, minimum and the profit will be about half of that uh, 4 cr so 
So we are quite excited to uh, look for our U.S. registration, although it is taking a bit more time. All right. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Our next participant is Goro, an investor. Please go ahead. Hello. Uh, sir, uh, recently uh, the audit committee of the company has been reconstituted twice. And the chairman is also saying any reasons, personal reasons there or any issues there? I'm sorry, could you please repeat the question? Uh, sir, the audit committee of our company has been reconstituted twice, recently in last few couple of couple of months. And uh, in this regard, any personal reason or any issue there or uh, regarding reconstitution of audit committee again and again? Okay. Uh, the, the one main reason is uh, that the senior most uh, uh, director in our company uh, one Mr. Uh, J.L. Sharma uh, was uh, hospitalized, and uh, I am uh, sorry to report that uh, actually he died last night. He, he was in a hospital in USA. So obviously he could not participate in the audit committee meeting on July 31st. So we had to reconstitute that. Okay, sorry to hear that uh, about uh, director sir and sir uh, one last question i have read in annual report uh, you have mentioned there in the company have been appended with obligatory permission to enter into diamond gold silver business sir what is this what is this all about the company see, seeing another segment uh, diamond gold business yes sir diamond diamond gold jewelry silver and other allied precious products I, I, I don't think there are any uh, any active plans at all to enter into this new business of uh, gold jewelry. So maybe you are reading some older reports or uh, uh, there is some uh, miscommunication there. Sir, I read this report in annual year 2022. So I was asking this question. Just leave this question, sir. I, I have just heard in the conference call that you mentioned that... Uh, Raymond is uh, discussing on uh, selling of shares. Is promoter selling their shares? Or I have something, something different thing? Uh, I have confirmed it and in the last two uh, conference calls uh, that uh, promoter is considering uh, selling their stake. So uh, I have made that public. Okay, okay. Okay, sir. Okay, sir. Thank you. Mm. Thank you. Participants, a reminder, anyone who wishes to ask questions may press star and 1 on their touchstone telephone. Our next participant is Pranay Gandhi from Green Portfolio. Please go ahead. Hi again, sir. Uh, sir, I just wanted to double-check with you uh, the current order book. You had previously mentioned in the call, but my network was poor. Could you just uh, repeat that? Yes, so the current order book is uh, 104 CR and uh, uh, about 35 CR worth of orders uh, which were allocated to us from South Africa, uh, they have not been uh, 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 confirmed yet. So, uh, like I mentioned to the other caller, uh, we have uh, adjusted our order book uh, uh, down to 104 as of uh, July 31st. However, uh, we are expecting more orders uh, from UNFPA and also uh, expecting more orders uh, from uh, Brazil and uh, also from South Africa uh, as the year uh, progresses. Okay. And so just wanted to double check our capacity for female condoms. It is 25 million pieces, right? It is 25 million pieces, but we could increase it to 52 million pieces by replacing the male condom capacity if we have the orders. So... Okay. Next. 
Thank you. Our next participant is Shivam Parag, an investor. Please go ahead. Hello, sir. Uh, sir, my question was regarding the buyback and special dividend, which you told that uh, you will uh, uh, tell us about in uh, till uh, September of 2023. So, sir, uh, you had an excess cash of around 100 crore. You you promised that you will uh, make better use of these resources, and uh, you only have a uh, expansion plan of 12 crores and uh, given the uh, less working capital which we need, can we not use the excess cash for better purposes such as buyback and special dividends? Uh, we, we have uh, uh, considered that option as well uh, and at the same time we are looking at uh, business expansion plan in terms of increasing the production capacity uh, at Cupid for both male and female condoms and also uh, we need uh, 30 to 40 CR in terms of higher uh, working capital requirements for the IBD business. So uh, we are looking at all the three aspects in terms of uh, the best uh, utilization of the reserves including a higher dividend for our shareholders. Okay, but sir, last quarter you told that uh, you will require a, a, a capital requirement of only 5 to 10 crores for the IVD business. Now you have raised the expectation to around 35 to 40 crores. So what's the reason for this? No, the, the uh, main reason is the uh, 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 new distribution business all over the world. And uh, uh, that would require uh, uh, more capital. Uh, uh, building a sales force and uh, uh, appointing some uh, 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 agents and uh, uh, distributors. So uh, this is just an estimate. As the business of IVD grows, uh, we will uh, 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 accordingly uh, follow the uh, uh, need for uh, capital requirements. So this is just a uh, an estimate that I have given you. Okay, but uh, sir, uh, uh, the previous answers which you had told to other investors, you told that uh, the IVD business uh, will need around one to two years to get the proper certification, and after that the sales will uh, be more and uh, will be eligible to uh, uh, apply for bigger tenders. So. Before that, uh, such a huge amount of uh, amount will be required for the di distribution business? No, no, not before that. Uh, you are correct uh, that earlier we had mentioned, and even today, that we need a WHO and uh, CE marking, which may take up to December of 24. And also at that time, we would complete the requirement of... Uh, uh, three years of uh, uh, manufacturing experience. So, until our sales increase, the capital requirements uh, will be only three or four CR. It would increase only after the sales pickup, which will be in FY 25 and 26. Okay. And, uh, sir, uh, I had uh, one more question. I'll uh, get back again, sir. I'll get back again. Okay, please do. Thank you. A reminder, participants who wish to ask questions may press star and one on their touchstone telephone while we wait for a moment. Our next participant is Goro, an investor. Please go ahead. Uh, sir, regarding uh, selling of promoter stake, is promoter selling their stake for the extension of the business or some other personal reason? Uh, special? Uh, sir, the Sorry to interrupt, uh, Mr. Kaurav. Uh, your voice is very low. Can you speak a little louder? Uh, okay. I am saying the promoters are selling their stakes. Is, are they selling for the expansion of the business or they are selling for their personal reasons? Can you explain this? No, it's, it's mostly for uh, personal business. We are considering uh, selling uh, the promoter stake. By how much percent you are expecting to sell the, your holdings? No, uh, we own about 45%. Okay. 
Okay, so, so, so how much percentage you are thinking to sell as you asking this? Or by, by way of IPO or by preference shares, by uh, which way you are going to sell this? No, it uh, depends the uh, type of offer we get. We are uh, completely uh, open in terms of the quantities. Okay, okay. maybe directed to the DIAs or FIAs as well. Yes, it could be, yeah. Okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Our next participant is Shivam Parikh, an investor. Please go ahead. Thanks for giving me an opportunity again. Sir, we had paid 4.4 crore as damages for breach of contractual terms. So I wanted to know whether uh, insurance uh, was taken for the same. Uh, there was uh, no uh, insurance uh, taken on that. Uh, it's, and we have tried to uh, find out through our insurance agent, and okay. uh, they say that this kind of uh, deterioration in the okay. sample quality is not covered by any insurance policy. Okay, sir. Uh, sir, I uh, cover one more company. Uh, that name is Avanti uh, In In its phone call, I got to know that uh, they had sold uh, uh, some machine feed to uh, U.S., so uh, there was some breach of contractual terms and there was a issue in policy. So uh, in that report, uh, the person you are speaking with has put your call on hold. Please stay on the line. You are talking about the person who is talking to you. He has put your call on hold. Please stay on the line. Hello. Yes, Mr. Rampakash, you can go ahead. Yeah, let's repeat the question. The call was interrupted. Yes, the participant is no more on queue. A reminder, any participants who wants to ask questions may press star and one on their touchstone telephone. As there are no further questions from the participants, I now hand the conference over to Mr. Om Prakash for his closing comments. Thank you. So, ladies and gentlemen, on uh, behalf of QP Limited, I would like to thank uh, all of you for attending the quarter one FY uh, 24 earnings. Uh, uh, conference call today. We uh, value uh, your uh, support and encouragement that you have given to the management uh, over the years. And we expect to meet all your expectations as we move forward. Also, I would like to thank very much our uh, customers uh, many of them who have been with us over 10 to 15 years for their continued uh, support and confidence in the quality of uh, Cupid products. And uh, uh, finally, I would like to thank all the employees of uh, Cupid uh, Limited for working uh, dil diligently uh, to improve the uh, uh, workings of Cupid and to improve the uh, bottom line of the company uh, throughout the year. So thank you all. Thank you. On behalf of Kirin Advisors Private Limited, that concludes this conference. If you have any queries, you can write at vastupal at the rate kirinadvisors.com and research at the rate kirinadvisors.com. Thank you for joining us, and you may now disconnect your lines. <laughs>